What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, we're going to take a step back from our normal Blender Visual Effects tutorials and share some more abstract techniques. Sometimes we get caught up in the specifics and we need a refresher. And some of us are just getting started in the world of visual effects. So in this video, I'm going to share five beginner visual effects techniques that are often overlooked. Visual effects play a crucial role in bringing imagination to life on the big screen. From epic explosions to fantastical creatures, visual effects compositing is a fundamental aspect of the VFX pipeline. While some of the advanced visual effects in Hollywood blockbusters can be overwhelming to create and understand, you'd be surprised with the results that you can achieve just by knowing some basics. Without further ado, let's explore 5 beginner visual effects tips that can help you create compelling visual effects. The first visual effects tip on this list is to pay attention to perspective and scale of the elements that you're adding to your scene. Maintaining accurate perspective and scale is vital to making your composited elements integrate naturally with the shot. It's important to match the camera angles, lens distortion, and depth of field to create a cohesive visual composition. This is the first step in achieving realistic integration into your scene, and if not done correctly, can make the shot feel uncanny on even a subconscious level to the viewer. The second visual effects tip is one I've mentioned before many times on this channel, and that is that you should understand the basics of color and light. Visual effects involves blending elements together seamlessly, and understanding color and light is crucial for achieving realistic results, especially when you're adding a CG element to a live action shot. It's highly important that the lighting quality, direction, and color information on the CG element match that of the live action shot to ensure maximum believability. To do this, you can combine an environment projection or reconstruction for realist reflections on your CG element, in addition to HDRIs and various light sources inside of your 3D program of choice. One of the simplest ways to try and further combine an element into a shot with minimal effort is to experiment with blending modes. Blend modes provide a range of creative possibilities by using math to combine different information between the background and foreground elements. Altering blend modes can help composite your elements into live action footage more effectively by controlling how the pixels of the element you are adding interact with the pixels of the live action footage. Different blend modes allow for various ways of blending the two elements, considering factors such as transparency, color, and luminosity affecting the overall appearance of the scene, resulting in a more more convincing composite. The fourth visual effects tip on this list is to pay attention to shadows and reflections. When integrating visual effects elements into the scene, matching shadows and reflections are crucial for achieving realism. It's important to study the lighting conditions of the original footage and ensure that your composite elements cast appropriate shadows and reflect the surrounding environment. Now while in some cases you could get away with mirroring and comping a warped beauty pass of an element where a shadow or reflection would be in the scene, the best and most accurate way to combine shadows and reflection of your CG element to live action is to reconstruct the geometry of the live action shot and render out the shadow and reflection passes separately on that geometry from that that specific angle. Finally, the last tip I have for you today is to understand the depth of feel and blur in your shot. When adding CG elements to live action, it's important to remember that depending on where the element is supposed to be in your scene, it could have a different amount of blur needed to blend it accordingly. The most common example is when an element is supposed to be either in the deep background or right up next to the camera in the foreground. In these cases, it's vital to match the blur from the camera accordingly. This can be done by rendering out layered elements separately depending on where they are in the scene and adding the corresponding blur to each, or by even using 3D Z depth information to add blur to the rendered elements procedurally. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Visual effects is a art form that requires technical skills, creativity, and attention to detail. Understanding some of these basic techniques can go a long way when it comes to creating an effective composite, and with a bit of practice and persistence, you can unlock your potential as a visual effects artist and bring extraordinary visuals to life. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.